Welcome back to my channel everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three subtle mods slash accessories or upgrades that I'm going to be fitting to my 2022 Skoda Octavia VRS Mark IV Estate Diesel DSG. <laughs> What a mouthful that is. Uh, I didn't need to say the whole lot, but it just sounds better, doesn't it? Um, in my last video, if you haven't seen it already, I'll leave a link in the description. I fitted a Maxton Design rear valance to the car, and it is a huge upgrade over the standard one. It looks amazing. However, in that video, as I pointed out, I never fitted the rear reflectors to the valance, the OEM ones, because I broke one of them. I'm heavy handed, I'm clumsy. And yeah, I just literally broke it. So I was like, that can't go back in the car. No chance. Look at that. The second reason is I wanted to upgrade them to the smoked versions, uh, which keeps the car nicely blacked out looking, you know, fresh in my opinion. Um, so they've arrived now. I'm going to fit them uh, to the car. We'll get that done first and then we'll move on to the next mods and accessories. Uh, it's quite a short, sweet video, this one today. Nothing too dramatic. Um, however, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. I've got plenty more content coming on this car because I must admit, I'm really enjoying it so far and there's lots of things I want to do to it. So yeah, let's get on with the video and go from there. So what I'm going to do is show you the new ones that I've bought and we'll do a quick comparison on the difference between the smoked ones and the original. But first, please appreciate that packaging. These are smoked, look how sick they look. Um, they're not just sprayed, I believe these came out of the factory like that. And here's the original ones for comparison. Now here's a little tip, if you haven't changed your valance and you're going to, make sure you order these first because you don't want to try and get these out of your valance afterwards. It would be an absolute nightmare. You definitely want to clean this before, because otherwise you're never going to get that dirt out again. Let's start with this side. It's just started raining, which is typical. This side now. Right, I've just removed the middle reflector because I wasn't happy with the gap on it with this valance. Now you can see here the stress points on these holes. So I'm going to drill a hole and make this a little bit longer so I can slide the middle reflector across so there's no gaps between the other two. Right, that's widened them up, this should clip in nicely now. There we go, that looks perfect now. So you just need to make sure that obviously this can be adjusted side to side. So yeah, that's lined up earlier, it was too close that side. So that is the rear reflectors. I think they look amazing. Nicely smoked out. Finishes that valance off nicely. Now another upgrade that I think needs to be done, especially for me, is fit the rubber mats because winter is here look at the state of these carpets so we're going to get these ones out and swap them over for some nice octavia rubber ones excuse the mess but this is a nice easy mod this one click out the old ones like so it's going to need a good hoover in there though. you've got to get the oem ones because they're high quality take a look at them um, I will be hoovering <laughs> underneath that. It's not just going to be swept under the carpet. <laughs> it literally will be getting hoovered. But for the purpose of this video, I wanted to show you these. And they are heavy duty, decent quality. Definitely an upgrade over the original ones. Uh, also, you can get these with red lettering. I didn't want any more red in the car because there's already enough going under there. Oh, take a look at them. I've even got two to go in the back as well. These, just, I actually think this is the best mod ever. Check that out. Can actually, or oh, anti-slip as well. All over that one, mate. So the next upgrade we're gonna be fitting is this black Skoda emblem 
on the front bonnet. This is going to be a huge upgrade over the chrome one. Just take a look at that. Um, it's got some sort of wipes with it and some sort of adhesive. So the first thing we need to do is get the old one off and go from there. Right, so the first thing we're going to have to do is heat this badge up and then use some dental floss to remove it. This is the only thing I need a hairdryer for. Dental floss. Let's get my trim removal tool. There's one badge off. Right, we'll get the sticky stuff off now. I'll probably get some WD-40 on that. Should come nice and easy. Right, so the badge is off, all the glue is removed. Right, next thing I'm going to do is clean it with this wipe here, which is sent with the badge, and then let that dry for five minutes. Right, now I'm going to apply the primer 94. You've got to squeeze it, that breaks it, and then just do nice straight lines across. I want to go over it too many times. I'm going to have to wait 10 minutes for that to dry or activate. Right, now that's dried. It's proper cold, obviously, because it's like winter now. So I'm going to take all of this sticky pad off, but I'm going to give it a little bit of heat before applying this badge because it should really be installed at a minimum of 18 degrees, apparently, said the manual. So, uh, give it a little bit of heat, crank it up, make sure you fit the badge the right way. Just slide into the guides. There we go. And then, there's your black badge. Right, that is the black badge on. Just take a look at that. Doesn't that look good? Well, I'm happy with that. Just make sure the pins line up because I did need to adjust it slightly because it was a little bit pissed <laughs> when I put it on the first time. But yeah, happy with that. I did order a badge for this side to replace it, but it's the wrong size, so I can't fit that today, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to try again with this one. But overall, I am happy with that. I think that looks good. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, all the items I fitted in this video, I purchased from a company called Super Skoda. They are based in the Czech Republic. They've got a huge range of accessories and upgrades and mods for the Skoda Octavias, not just the Mark IV, but the previous versions as well, and all other Skodas. I'm not endorsed or sponsored by them. I just took it upon myself to find somewhere I could buy these bits from. Uh, one thing to bear in mind though, if you are from the UK, you will get charged import duty and it can get quite expensive. Um, I think I paid like 60 quid for import duty, which I just thought was extortionate. Um, anyway, it is what it is. Um, if you want good quality stuff, you do have to look for it and go and find it So and pay for it. That's the price we pay now. So if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. I've got plenty more upgrades and mods coming to this car. Uh, so stay tuned. And that's going to be it for today's video. But thanks for watching and see you soon. First thing we're going to do is jump outside of the car and show you the foot. Shut up. It the first thing, it's in park. Right, so the foot, the foot, let's try again. So the first.